I'm starting with a big roasting chicken. First thing I want to do is salt and pepper the inside of the cavity. I've already washed and patted it dry. Lots of salt inside to give it lots of flavor. And lots of pepper. I want this to have great flavor. And I'm gonna take a whole head of garlic. I'm not even gonna peel it. Just cut it right in half. And all that garlic flavor just gets right into the chicken. It's gonna be delicious. And the next thing I'm gonna do is lemons because I love the way lemon tastes in chicken. So I'm just gonna quarter this and put that right into the chicken just that way. And then some fresh thyme, big sprig of fresh thyme right in the middle. All this is really just to give the chicken more flavor as it roasts. If you have other herbs around like oregano or rosemary or something like that, you can also use that, but I particularly like thyme. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how to truss a chicken. It's really simple. Just wanna do two things. I'm gonna tie the legs together, a little bit of kitchen string. Just tie these guys to, together. This is really about making sure that the chicken cooks evenly. If the legs are flapping around in the pan, they're gonna cook faster than the rest of the chicken. And the wings are the same thing. You don't want them flapping around in the pan. So what you wanna do is just turn them backwards and tuck them right underneath the body of the chicken. And it keeps them close. Just like that. I'm just going to brush the whole top with butter just to make sure that it has lots of flavor and that it browns really nicely in the pan. Then I'm going to sprinkle it with lots of salt and pepper. And now comes the surprising part. I'm going to put strips of bacon over the top which is gonna actually give it lots of flavor. And then later, I'm gonna crumble the crisp bacon into the salad, so it's gonna be a combination of dishes. This is the usual Friday night chicken, but dressed up for company. Now, I'm gonna add more flavor to the sauce, too, by putting in garlic in the pan. Another whole head of garlic, just cut right in half. I'm gonna roast it in the pan. And then the juices from the chicken are gonna make a sauce with the garlic. And I think I'll put in two lemons. So these are the flavors in the chicken, but it's also gonna add to the sauce. Cut off the ends, and then just cut it in half and do big wedges. And you'll see the lemon is gonna brown and it's gonna have great flavor right in the sauce. Just right in the pan, sort of instead of vegetables. Okay, so I think it's all ready. 425 degrees for about an hour and 15 minutes. And before it's done, I'm gonna take the bacon off so the chicken browns really nicely. Mm -hmm.